What's up, guys? We're here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm bringing you an absolutely insane Andy's Flurry build. One of my community members sent me not only like the video of this build, and I was like, oh, I got to play this. So real quick, big shout out to Zario for the base of the build. So all credit goes to him. Big shout out to him, man. Uh, I tweaked a few things, but this build is absolutely insane. So thank you, Zario and my community the warriors for bringing me this build because i have loved flurry for the long like since season one i always thought it was way cooler than twisting blades i thought the animations were much cooler the issue was is it just never really was the powerhouse it just could not do anything and even in this build it's only used for the attack speed bonus although it does do some damage the attack speed bonus is huge which you can see there is 45 percent so this is another basic build almost, but we all evolve around Poison, which is through Andy's Visage or Andario's Visage. Lucky hit, chance to uh, trigger a Poison Nova that applies 18,000 Poison damage over five seconds to the enemies in the area. So this build evolves all around this. This build is absolutely insane. So I'm gonna go over all the skills, Paragon, gear, etc. what you need to get this thing going. Then we're gonna do a nice little uh, I think I can. I think I'm gonna do a 90 showcase for you guys, but uh, because my gear just isn't super good right now, so I can't push too high. But this build can easily go through 100s, no problem. So let's break down the skill tree. Let's go over absolutely everything you need. So we are doing puncture. However, because this build is based on poison damage, we do not need to put you know plus five ranks into puncture or plus five ranks into flurry. These are only skills to help trigger poison itself. All of our poison damage is gonna come from our gear. So we got puncture all the way up into fundamental puncture. This is just throwing three blades, just allows us to apply even more poison and more importantly, to get that vulnerable trigger. Then we're gonna come down and we're doing flurry into improve flurry. It deals increased damage to vulnerable enemies. If flurry hits any vulnerable enemies, it will make all enemies hit by that cast vulnerable for three seconds. Um, this one is really, really good. I was toying around with Advanced Flurry, but we're not really evading. Um, and we don't really care about Flurry doing more damage because it's all about poison. So Improved is probably just the better one because it just helps make, you know, when you run up to a mob, makes other enemies vulnerable, which is just, it's just better. We deal more damage when they're vulnerable. So this just works. But either one is kind of, just go with Improved. Next, we got Stutter Step because we want to move super, super fast. We are going to crit a lot in this build. Then we got Shadow Step into Discipline. This is going to be our main way of Unstoppable. This is going to be the only way that we can, like, get out of a CC, get out of a boss, you know, ability, like, from the Blood Bishop, etc. So, this is the only time that we're actually going to use this. Or if you want to speed from group to group, you can teleport to them through Shadow Step and destroy your enemies. Next, we got one point into Dash just for mobility. Uh, we got one point into Concussive. For the Chris Strike chance. And then we got three points into tr trick attacks. I said try attacks last time. Trick attacks. So when we, we critically strike a dazed enemy, they're knocked down, which is super cool. Next is Caltrops into Discipline Caltrops. Now, Caltrops are absolutely insane here. We got damage up to 65% multiplicative because these last for 11 seconds. So this is really gonna help scale our damage in this build. So this is the only reason that we're actually throwing Caltrops. Next, excuse me, we got Agile. I know you guys love it in the comments. If you guys haven't seen Christmas Story, Fragile, Agile, let's go. Cooldown increases our dodge chance, which is important. Then we got our biggest point of defense here, which is Dark Shroud into Subverting. Now Subverting gives me more movement speed to just speed through dungeons and the overworld and stuff like that. But if you want more Chris Strike Chance, feel free, 8%. The build isn't necessarily going to need it, so I'd rather just move faster from uh, mob to mob. Then we're doing, of course, we're always maxing out Exploit for more damage as well as Malice for more damage. And you guys can see that I do have points into all of uh, my sub skills here as opposed to just start uh, straight Dark Trial. We'll talk about that in the gear section. Now we're going to come down and we max out Deadly Venom for increased poison damage, as well as one point into debilitating toxins for just some DR from poison enemies, which everybody should be. Uh, then, of course, we max out Frigid Finesse uh, for even more damage. We want to get as many ranks in this as possible. Now, we do have Shadow Imbuement into Mixed Shadow Imbuement. So, 
I have been testing this. There's one of two ways that you can take this. One, 12% increased non-physical damage from you for eight seconds. We get Shadow Imbuement pretty much non-stop in this build. So this, especially against bosses, is very, very important. However, if you do want to apply more vulnerable damage for like speed farming, um, the explosions can make enemies vulnerable, which can help. Uh, but I have found that overall that mixed shadow imbuement is just better. Um, although the blended can work just fine, but mixed shadow just felt felt better in the build. Now we're going to come down. Of course, we're doing one point into adrenaline rush, three into haste for more move speed and energy regen, and attack speed. More importantly, we're easily hitting the max cap uh, max cap attack speed. Uh, we got one point in intervention and then three points into alchemist fortune so non-physical damage we deal has a increased lucky hit chance which is our poison and then this is where like you have three points essentially you could even swap out shadow imbuement if you didn't want the extra and maybe even go poison imbuement to just add even more poison damage you could come in here and just add like mixed poison imbuement um no no, no, no i'm sorry not that one blended so crit strikes with this deal 75% multiplicative increased poison damage. You could definitely try this. Shadow imbuement mixed is just more consistent because you do need the crit here. I mean, you poison imbued skills. You could try this. Um, I haven't done any testing, but this is definitely something that caught my eye. So blended poison imbuement, imbuement would definitely be pretty good on the build. Um, and then you have the last three points here. So this is one where i'm kind of like back and forth on it so second wind every 100 energy you spend grants 15 percent increased lucky hit chance for five seconds so this is very very powerful against a boss you're doing a dungeon boss you're doing you know durial or the uber bosses it's easy because you're just standing and you're you're slamming through puncture and then you're spamming flurry every time you get your combo points to three so every four times you use flurry we get this for five seconds. It is nice. It is nice when you're like fighting Lilith or, you know, a boss or something like that. But when you're speeding through a dungeon, this is just isn't going to help you overall. So, I mean, you could take these points out and just move them. Um, one thing that I really thought about taking out is if you do this, you take the three points out and you can do sturdy, which is really, really nice for the build. And then we would need one more point into siphoning strikes. So what you can do is take the one point out of stutter step and do siphoning strikes to get the life gain however you don't really need it because you have so much life steal from the uh andy's helmet so you don't even need siphoning strikes but um i if you really don't feel like the second wind is helping or you don't really feel it unless you're fighting a boss then definitely just put it into sturdy more damage reduction for the rogue is very important now i know you guys are asking well why aren't we maxing out weapon mastery because again we are not doing a lot of damage with puncture itself and or flurry so we don't necessarily care about the additional damage because this is not going to like affect those skills in a major way we're literally doing everything through poison so uh that's why we're not running weapon master just if anybody was asking and then of course we're going to come down and grab close quarters damaging a close enemy with marksman skills or cutthroat skills grants 15 percent attack speed and then while both attack speed bonuses are active, you deal 10% increased damage of our damage versus crowd control, which is what we have on pretty much everything at 82% multiplicative. So marksman skill, cutthroat skill, we're going back and forth between these, so we should always have the attack speed bonus from this. Okay, um, for the purposes of the video, I am gonna take sturdy out because I don't necessarily need it. And we're gonna put the points back in there. So now let's go into the gear, the juicy part. Specialization is combo points for this build. We easily rack up three combo points you guys are going to see in the run. Super, super easy. And then we just cast Flurry whenever they're at three. There is a small trick with this that I do. One of my community members pointed it out to me because the attack speed felt off. So one of my community members told me that every time we do our attack speed up and use Flurry, we need to cast it at three and not two or one combo points to get the maximum duration of attack speed, which is 45%. So make sure that you do that. So of course, Andy's. This build does not work with this. This is where our damage comes from. So you have to have this helmet or the build does not work, okay? Other than that, pretty self-explanatory. As much lucky hit as possible. We only got 48%, but the pot that you want to use for this is 
uh, advantage because it gives us lucky hit chance by 15% as well as attack speed. So when we do this, we go up to 54, which is pretty good. And then the other 15%, when this actually triggers, we go up even higher. I think it's close to 60%, which isn't bad for flurry. It's Or excuse me, puncture. It's not bad. Next, of course, we got Umbrus. So that way when we crit, we trigger the skill to get free Dark Shrouds. Now you guys see the plus three to sub skills. That's why we have the plus three to all those as opposed to just Dark Shroud. You can use either if you have it, plus the sub or plus the Dark Shroud, but you have to have that to get the ranks because it's the majority of our damage reduction and survivability as a rogue. In our gloves, we got Concussive Strikes. Super strong here, okay? Uh, also, very important, on the lucky hit, we got Chance to Stun. On our gloves, we got Chance to Freeze. So this is what you need to do, two to freeze, one to stun, one to daze, okay? And then we got, every time we, with concussive strikes, every single time that we daze, we get that 20% increased damage. In our pants, we got um, might, just for more damage reduction. Very, very important. Uh, and then we got the daze here. And then on our boots, we are doing shared misery. This is just such a crazy... I feel like this has been the MVP power in a lot of the rogue builds this season, and it's not even close. The, the CC that the rogue can apply is actually kind of nutty. Um, but this, we got freeze, daze, freeze, and then stun. Very important. Um, on our bow, we got retribution, 60% increased damage to stun or knock down enemies. Again, this is why we have just the one in lucky hit chance to stun. So that way, even, the, even besides bosses, we get this when we're fighting enemies that become stunned. Uh, then we want uh, twisting blade of bursting venoms. This is where the poison imbued skills have a chance to create a pool of toxins around the enemy, which is what you're going to see, and does increase poison damage, which is going to scale. And then we got pestilent points. This is why we do not have to run poison imbuement and we can run shadow imbuement instead. Because every third cast of puncture, it becomes poison imbued and we just add even more poison damage. Um, again, this is very, very important. Just helps scale the build. Uh, crowd control on absolutely everything, guys. Uh, in our amulet, I just got this one. I'm pretty excited about it. Noxious Ice. So, chilled enemies poisoned by poison imbuement will be further chilled. You deal 45% multiplicative additional poison damage to frozen enemies, and this also applies against bosses when they are staggered. So, this is very, very important. This, this power is insane. Now, on your amulet, you 100% want Frigid Finesse. 100%. Um, if you have Deadly Venom, that just helps apply uh, more poison damage. But you can do Exploit. You can do Malice. Either one of those is perfectly fine. But this is the one I got. And then I rolled for more Lucky Hit Chance. Um, you could do either one. You could also roll for Dex. Whatever you want. I just wanted as much Lucky Hit as I possibly could get. Next, we got Rapid, of course, for more attack speed. And I got an insane, insane ring here. It's absolutely crazy. My community told me I should have sold it. But I'm keeping it. And then Intercom. Um, intercom here, obviously 10% across the board, but then when you're fighting a boss and standing still, you get the 30%. This is fine. This is probably the only power that you could swap. Might you could swap if you feel like you don't need it. Once we hit the cap, because I did get the, uh, I did get the, the crit on this armor. So we're at 8,800. Uh, when I level this up to 12, I'll be, I'll be at the 92 cap. So you only needed to crit this once. Um, otherwise you would have to add total armor somewhere just to hit the cap, which is still okay. You just, you just drop one of the dodge chance. You drop dodge chance off of the boots, or excuse me, the pants, or the chest piece just to get total armor, and you'll be fine. Even if you didn't have a GA armor, you could have just normal armor, and then just have a total armor, and then you'll hit the cap, no problem. Uh, but intercom could definitely be swapped. You could do elements. Elements would work perfectly fine, because you'd be doing your normal physical damage, and then when the poison comes around, you would always get that 30%. That is perfectly fine. Um, I just think along the way, I just prefer the intercom for now, but this is a power you could swap. Same thing on Might. Um, what I've been strongly considering is putting Might, um, uh, let's see, dropping Might, putting Concussive Strikes on the boots, putting Shared Misery back on the pants, and then we have the, the fist open. And I really want to put the Flurry power on here just to hit in a 360 as opposed to just what's in front of me, um, just to help apply more vulnerable like more vulnerable to more enemies. I haven't tested it yet, uh, but that is something I definitely want to do. So really you have these two powers that you could swap out of the build and change. If you feel like you don't need the DR, then you're fine because we have so much lifesteal, especially once you hit the cap. Um, 
we got all of our reses maxed and the build is just nuts so over to the paragon board all this is going to be linked down in the description below guys so make sure to go check everything out but we have ambush for more damage especially against enemies that are in our trap skills so when we activate caltrops bane for even more poison effects and poison damage kenny for even more non-fizz damage um, which is very very important and then we got chip for even more dex and physical damage which is insane then we got control for all the cc right and then we got tracker for even more poison damage especially the additional for poison damage effects last 20 percent longer so this is very very strong ambush ambush is probably one of the ones that i like this is just scales very well against bosses because you know there's going to be times when you're running through the dungeon you don't actually have to throw cow chops so you just don't get this damage but if you have it you're good to go you could also swap in your skills guys you could drop like dash or i mean i wouldn't i wouldn't suggest getting rid of shadow beam but if you wanted to you could run poison trap which would also trigger that all the time so you could do both if you really really wanted to um but yeah guys that's the paragon board uh we hit all of our res caps i have to you have to take extra points in the reses to hit your red res caps but it is very very strong i really do wish because this is the secret tech board i really do wish that we could with training because if you have pride in here or another glyph that gives just a buff to these nodes then you get up to 18 percent max life here which is kind of insane i don't really have a node here that can do that there's not one that i can swap um because none of these actually give additional bonuses so it's kind of a bummer i i was really playing around with this and trying to figure out a way to put that in there pride is the best one uh for increased damage and then it gives the the bonus to all rare nodes but then i could not find another spot or make the points to to get a you know a seventh slot so we're kind of just stuck in the water here but eight percent is still really really good so guys let's go do the uh let's go do a run real quick we got the pot going you do not have to do this with a pot but i think we're just going to do a 90 just to showcase the build now it's it's pretty straightforward you guys can see that my gear is only level four i got a couple that are to eight um but i got to do some re-rolls because i hit some really bad ones on here but let's go ahead and knock this out uh you guys also will see like i got a video for us fighting lilith which is absolutely nuts so this build may be my favorite melee build that i've ever played on rogue only mainly because it uses flurry <laughs> mainly because it uses flurry and it's just insane so very very simple pop shadow get these going every time you get three and you just blast now you can caltrop here The build does take some getting used to because you're I'm I'm not used to like letting the poison you know kill everybody but it's hard to see all those on you know on here but once you see it you just move it is still something I'm really trying to get used to But the build, the build is just nuts, man. And you, you just get to run around, destroy stuff. You see how fast, because we got the three sacks, how easy it is to get to, to, to the combo points. And this is just a 90 with low gear, guys. Low gear. Low gear. Now, I will tell you that this build is, although it's very fun and very, very powerful against bosses um, and just dungeon running itself, uh, obviously, this isn't going to be as fast as, uh, as like, Heartseeker or anything like that, but the build is still incredibly fun. So, if you've been looking for, like, a melee build and you've been having your, uh, you know, your Twisting Blades withdrawals, you know what I mean? Then this is definitely the build for you. The only negative to it is you have to have Andes. If you don't have Andes, you're just gonna the build is just gonna struggle. Like it's basically the build just doesn't work. So we're still at two minutes on the 90, which is pretty good. Um I was playing it all yesterday on stream, guys, and it's just nuts, man. So shout out to my community for bringing this to my attention. And then shout out to uh, uh, Zario. Insane, man. 
It's so cool. So it's really hard. So see the see the damage. Uh, it's hard to see the the poison on there. It's really hard to see their life bars, and you know when you see that poison go away, you know what I mean. Oh, I, I died because I wasn't. I didn't pop a potion. I didn't get my life steal. You guys didn't see that for the video. But yeah, man, it's it's almost like similar to if you guys played Blizzard the last couple seasons where you're just kind of dropping your blizzards and then running. It's the same thing. Think about it as the same thing with the poison. So like I hit my poison and just let the poison kill him and I can just move along. I actually don't have to be there like there. He's dead now, so I can just run. You know, it's kind of it's kind of like that. And you just blast away. It's a it's a little bit different with the playstyle because I'm sure a lot of you are like me where you're just like waiting to obliterate the enemy. You know what I mean? And the poison damage goes away. Like just the ticks are just so good. So you don't actually need to wait. You can just move along. And that's definitely a playstyle I'm not used to. But you guys can see, man, even with low gear, like you could easily speed farm 100s or more. Now let's destroy this boss so you guys can see this. Sorry, my nose is super itchy. Oh. Whoops. All right, let's get it again. I moved out. All right, let's go. Oh, the sea hag. The dam... I was just going to say, before I just got killed by that, the damage really scales with this when you... uh. That's my bad. I should have moved. <laughs> The damage with this really scales as soon as you uh as soon as you stagger the boss. And you're gonna see it's very, 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 very easy and quick to stagger the boss. Aha, not this time. We just delete them. Just delete them. We just get rid of them. 2GA sword. Nice. Let's take a look. Nothing. But yeah, guys, that is Andy's Visage. I'll put a real quick clip of me killing Lilith, which is just nuts in here. But I do have that on the video, guys. Again, this build is so much fun. Um, I really got a lot of work to do uh, as far as leveling up the gear, but I definitely wanted to bring you the guide because this build is absolutely insane. Again, it's still very easy to hit the cap. And I am running um, emeralds instead of rubies. If you don't want to run emeralds, you can 100% run, run rubies. And then your life will be around 40,000, which is perfect. But with the life seal, you should be pretty good. I'd rather scale with the dexterity for this build because we're at 2,300 dex, which is insane. So, yeah, this build is super, super fun. Um, one other thing to note is on this weapon... I did get the crit on the chance for puncture projectiles to be cast twice. This is very important when you're doing this build. Make sure that you have puncture crit at least once on your masterwork. So just level it to four. If you don't get it, reset and do it again. I know it costs a lot, but it is essential for the build because if you crit once, then when you take this to 12, you'll be over the 100% and you'll always be throwing. You know, you'll always be throwing, throwing two instead of every, you know, the chance of, of missing it, right? So that's the last thing for the build, guys like the video comment down below let me know what you guys think of andy's flurry in this insane poison build this thing can do all bosses it's absolutely incredible so like the video let's get this over 100 likes guys comment down below let me know what you guys think about the build what are some possible changes that we could make to it and improve this build let me know your thoughts down in the comments don't forget to subscribe and as always stay gaming and i'll see you in the next one peace